we don't have a great understanding of what the actual cause of the fibroid is, but we do know that it's, it's, very, uh, it's very prevalent in certain populations of women, and some people are just, are just prone to this irregularity of their muscle tissue. It's in the category of, uh, of, of female problems of the uterus that are, are hormone responsive. And so things like endometriosis, things like adenomyosis are also hormone responsive entity or abnormalities in, in the muscle and the lining of the uterus that just, in some women, respond to their natural hormones and, and begin to grow and, and cause various problems. Prominently in certain populations, uh, probably about 70% of uh, African American women have uh, some element of uterine fibroids. Uh, they're more common in uh, African American and Latina women, uh, and you know the, they're, they generally tend to grow to grow larger uh, in African American women. Um, but they, you know, they're probably somewhere in the range of 20 to 30 percent of all women have some component of uterine fibroids, and they're just not symptomatic in most women. Probably about 10 percent of women that have them are symptomatic. So uh, it's, you know, it, I would say ethnicity is probably the most significant risk factor. Family history is also a significant risk factor. Um, women that have uh, a first degree relative, like a mother, sister, aunt, even, uh, are much more likely to develop uh, problematic uterine fibroids over their lifetime. Age is a factor. Uh, generally, women begin, begin to become symptomatic from fibroids in their 20s or 30s, and it can extend uh, through, you know, through the early 50s for some women. Uh, generally, once a woman reaches postmenopausal status and her hormone function is no longer at its uh, previous levels, the fibroids will decline or will become less, uh, less symptomatic. We know that women that, that are overweight tend to have a higher uh, estrogen component to their body. Their um, peripheral adipose tissue converts um, estrogen into higher amounts in, in their body and that can feed fibroids in those women particularly. Um, and so, so there is, there also is some correlation with uh, a, a real protein heavy diet and uh, increased iron intake that can um, feed fibroids in some women as well.